All right, well, let's give a big old Portland Old Time Gathering welcome to Caleb Clowder and Sammy Lynn. Woo!
starch my overalls Catch that train they call the cannonball From Buffalo to Washington gathering. We sure miss seeing all of you in person this year. My name is Kelsey Nelson and this is Chris Miller. We're going to be performing uh, the cranky Undone in Sorrow. It's an Ola Bell Reed tune. This cranky that I made is uh, all paper cut with a little bit of watercolor in it and we'd just like to say a big thank you to Bubbaville for forging ahead this year during the pandemic and putting this event on online. And also big thanks to Ginny McRae for organizing all of us cranky artists. And uh, thank you to all the other cranky artists who are performing as well. <laughs> Thank you. 
mountain to see the world riches to gain oh and I return no earthly treasure could ease this heart so full of pain Return to Mary, so still among the flowers she lay. time gathering aficionados hello um, we are squirrel butter mm -hmm. and uh, this is our cranky submission for the portland old time gathering virtual edition happening this year i'm charmaine slavin i'm charlie beck and uh our cranky is called the king of rome and it's about a pigeon a pigeon race to be exact and it's a true story about a pigeon that uh you can actually go see in a museum over in the city of Derby, mm. England. And uh, the, muse the, the, the famous pigeon who won this race is stuffed in, in, in a museum over there. Ah. And, uh, and uh, so this is a true story based on the race. And uh, the song was written by a fellow named David Sudbury, who wrote this in the... When did he write it? Uh, it was, I believe it was in the late 80s, around 1987. And he wrote it uh, actually for a song contest. So he wrote a, a song about a contest for a song contest. And he, he won the contest with the song. So I don't want to <laughs> spoil, spoil uh, what happens at the end of this song. but Yeah. I don't think this was a contest, though. No. Well, there was a song about a contest. Yeah. Anyway. It, it was very better. I'm confused. Anyway, he, here's, our, here's our story about the King of Rome. We hope you enjoy our cranky. In the west end of Derby lived a working man He said, I can't fly, but my pigeons can And when I set them free, it seems like part of me gets lifted up on shiny wings. Now Charlie Hudson's pigeon loft lay down the yard. Over a rented house in Brook Street, where life was hard. Oh, but Charlie had a dream. And in 1913, Charlie bred a pigeon that made his dreams come true. There was going to be a champion's race from Italy And we got out our maps on that land and sea Oh, Charlie will lose that bird But Charlie never heard He put it in a basket and he sent it off to Rome Now on the day of the big race, a storm blew in 
And a thousand birds got blown away and were never seen again. Well, Johnny, I told you so. Well, I'm sure by now you know when you're living in the West and there ain't many dreams come true. Oh, yes, I know, but I had to try. Cause a man can crawl around or he can learn to fly. And when you live round here, the ground seems awful near. And sometimes you need a lift from victory. out with my mates for a pint or two when I saw the wing flash up in the blue well Johnny it's the king of Rome he's come back to his west end home will come outside he's perched upon the roof oh come on down my majesty I always knew you'd come back to me, oh, come on down, my lovely one. You made my dreams come true. In the west end of Derby lived a worthy man. He said, I can't fly, but my pigeons can. And set them free it seems like part of me gets lifted up on shiny wings it's lifted up on shiny wings Myself, I'm Charmaine, and mm -hmm. uh, they were pen and ink on Tyvek, and we hope you enjoyed the true story of the King of Rome. Yeah, thanks, King of Rome, and thank you, David Sudbury, and, yes. and thank, thank you all. You, thank you, Portland Old Time Gathering. Thanks, pigeons everywhere. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, we are Squirrel Butter. Uh, I'm Charmaine Slavin. I'm Charlie Beck. And uh, we're going to be doing an old African-American folk song that we learned from Bessie Jones. This one's called The Grey Goose. And uh, this was an old uh, children's song uh, with, uh, yeah, just kind of interesting visual visualization. So it was a natural fit for a cranky, um, I thought. And uh, I made this cranky. It's made out of paper cutouts uh, with uh, tissue paper of different... Um, colors and a lot of shadow puppets so you get to see all those elements in this cranky and uh yeah i think we'll just kick it off here one dark monday morning one dark Monday morning, your daddy went a hunting and he took a long shotgun. Along come the gray goose, along come the gray goose, and he pulled on the trigger. The gun went a boo below, and down come the gray goose. Down come the gray goose. Uh, he was 
six weeks falling. Yeah, six weeks falling. Sassafras Sisters, and we're super excited to be playing this song for you, Willie Taylor, along with this awesome Cranky, and I'm feeling super lucky that I get to play with these guys, we get to be in our little bubble, and we got to work on this Cranky together and sing this song, so yeah, and this is off of our new album called A North Wind Blows, so you can check that out. And thanks to Emily and Eric, Ruby's parents, they put a lot of time to this. Um, they did all the artwork, and so we're just really grateful for all the work they've done, and we're excited to perform it with them. Yeah, it's nice to have this connection. We really miss Portland all the time this year. We've been going since we were young, so it's nice to be able to see everyone. And, um, yeah, stay safe, and we'll see you guys next year. Church to be married. 
dilly dilly dum dilly dum dum day. I'll eat it. 